Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and I'm so glad that you stopped in and uh, thank you for subscribing and hitting the like button if you do and uh, you are a blessing. It helps my channel and I appreciate that so much. We're going to start out with Elon Musk wants to avoid nuclear war gets attacked by pro-Ukraine shields C-H-I-L-L-S Shields. 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 Well, bless his heart. Billionaire Elon Musk discussed an idea on Twitter about a possible resolution to the Russian Ukraine war, and he was met with attacks. As rumors of nuclear, nuclear war gained footing, not everyone is on board with involving the United States in the issues of other nations. We should keep our nose to home. I've said that so many times. I hope you don't get tired of hearing it. But Musk put up a yes or no poll asking about a potential Ukraine-Russian peace proposition. But now you've got to have a positive attitude about Musk at least trying to do something to bring peace between these two uh, nations. You know, because, like I said in a video that I made last night, we are so close to war, it's not even funny anymore. Anyone that would try to come up with a solution of any kind would help. He wrote four ideas. Redo elections of annexed regions under UN supervision. Russia leaves if that is the will of the people, Crimea, formerly part of Russia, as it has been since 1783 until Khrushchev's mistake, water supply to Crimea assured Ukraine remains neutral. I hope I'm pronouncing that Crimea right, or Crimea, Crimea, C-R-I-M-E-A. Ukraine remains neutral. He goes on to say, while President Joe Biden and his administration continue to increase conflict, which they have done, we all know that, between the two countries and give billions of taxpayer dollars to Ukraine, Musk stepped in with possible solutions instead of fueling the fire. You know? I think it's a positive. Y'all let me know if it's a negative. Leave a comment. It's fine. We all have our, uh, our ideas. And, you know, but he followed up by saying that he suspects his peace suggestions will happen, but says many could die from before then. Well, yes. We could. Might just will say we. Because Biden's put us in the middle of the war if it breaks out. So that includes we, me, you, your family, your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, brothers, sisters, mother, fathers. The Telsa CEO also points out that while unlikely a nuclear war could happen if the conflict is not resolved. Some Twitter users along with the media quickly accused Musk of being a Putin sympathizer and condemned him for not wholeheartedly supporting Ukraine. Now, Putin mental state of mind. It seems like all he thinks about is himself. And threatening. How many times has he threatened the United States? And you know one of these times with a mental mind like he has, he might just walk up and push that button, people. That doesn't mean that Musk is a sympathizer. We're not sympathizing with Putin. That man has got a treacherous mind. He wants to be king. 
and he'll do anything he can to get there to that king throne and that's destroying us and whoever else might be around he don't care come on people Musk pointed out reasonable ideas that could implement and was meant with backlash from people who appear to want the war to continue no if it, a compromise between the two countries cannot be reached the threats of nuclear war could become a reality. After seven months, Biden isn't any closer to helping to settle the war. Former President Donald Trump is known for his diplomatic negotiation, negotiations and has offered to step up as an intercessor between Russia and Ukraine to try and defuse the situation. But not surprisingly, the Biden administration did not take him up on his offer. Go figure. Biden's in with Russia. And whoever the Democrats are that's in with Biden, nine times out of ten, excuse me again, I'm getting excited, want the United States ruined. And how close are we? Why is any offer that supports a conflict resolution shut down by liberals and the White House? It appears so, seeing that Secretary of State Antony Blinken expressed that the White House wants the war to continue until Ukraine is entirely independent of Russian forces. While Musk's suggestions might not be perfect, his willingness to try and combat the escalating war is not something that should be met with such backlash. Really? Ask yourself, what would you do in your shoes to solve the trouble between Russia and Ukraine if they accepted your ideas? Or would you still go along with Biden? And pretty soon, United States will be all Russia. Something to think about. You know, it's something to think about. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Anybody with any positive ideas, I welcome. Because this has gone on way too long. Look at all the money that's went out the window that could have helped the United States in any subject of anything. You know, the utilities. Um, what do I want to say? The people that want to buy homes, gas for the cars to get to work, more jobs. You know, any subject, if there's a positive out there, we need to accept that positive. Because right now, we're just living in negativity. My goodness. Oh, I just don't know. Well, and I don't know Elon Musk. I've never met him. I know he has a lot of... Uh, money he's earned probably I don't know if he was given money when he was born a lot of them aren't a lot of them start from scratch from the time they're a kid from a poor family and work their way up Trump wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth he had to work for what he had and what he got I just don't know. I could be wrong. You know what to do. Just leave me a comment. Sometimes I don't get to them, but eventually I will. I read so many and then try to get all my uh, stuff done here and get everything organized that uh, sometimes I just don't have the time, but I, I appreciate the comments and I need them because I want to read them. 
especially. The subscribers have been just a blessing. And I thank each and every one of them. And I, I, God bless the ones that leave a comment. But if you don't, that's fine too. You know, I welcome you to my channel. Even if you don't subscribe, I welcome you. But I can't believe that Elon Musk, why people attacked him for the positive ideas. But oh well, like I've said before, who am I? I'm just, I'm just here. You know, I'm just doing what I like to do. Delivering good subjects, good, good uh, stories, news articles, positive and negative. I've had some negatives that just make you shudder. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see what I've got lined up next. That was really a short one. Let's see what I've got lined up next here. Well, let's go to Mr. Biden. What do I have here? Okay. Well, this one isn't very nice of Biden. And of course, I will not say the word, but you will get the drift. <clears throat> Seems like he got caught on a hot mic. And those of you who don't know maybe what a hot mic is, that means... They think the mic is shut off, but it's still on. And sometimes you say things you shouldn't say. President of the United States, Joe Biden, was touring Florida in the wake of the Hurricane Ion when he gave an interview on a hot mic in which he disclosed some insights into his mentality. The president was quoted as saying, no one F's with a Biden. Person from Florida who responded said, You're GD correct. It is not the first time that Joe Biden has made a fool of himself by using inappropriate language while being recorded on a hot mic. Biden screamed, This is a big effing deal after the Democrats had somehow succeeded in passing Obamacare through the legislative process. In the meantime, it appears that President Biden's attitude extends to the FBI, which continues to refuse a conduct, a serious investigation into the Biden family in connection with extremely illegal business dealings jeopardize national security. On Fox News, Representative Michael Waltz provided a concise outline of the wrongdoing that has been associated with Biden family. On Tuesday night, the former business partner of Hunter Biden disclosed the resistance he encountered from FBI agents when he attempted to present proof that the Bidens had committed many felonies. When asked about the motiva motivation, motivation behind his decision to come forward, Bob Lulinski stated, for the benefit of our country and for national security. At that time, Joe Biden was candidate for the position. He is now serving as President of the United States of America, making him the most powerful person in the world's free nations and daunting. Therefore, at the conclusion of that five-plus-hour interview, the head of station told my lawyers, listen, an individual name, named Tim Thibault is going to run points on all of this. We are absolutely going to request Tony's presence here once more for the subsequent interview. Could happen as soon as the following week, he elaborated. There were some individuals in the room who did not have a comprehensive understanding of all of these facts. I was willing to meet with whoever needed me to or travel wherever I wanted to, he continued. We may want to have people come in from Baltimore or Delaware, and you know, I was ready to sit down with anyone who needed me to. So the station chief supplied my lawyer's, Tim Tyabalt's cell phone number. 
Is that Tyabalt or Thiabalt? Cell phone number. T-H-I-B-A-U-L-T apostrophe S. Thiabalt. If I don't pronounce it correctly, please forgive me. The next thing he said was, Tim was not there that day. My attorney spoke with him for an hour and a half on the evening of Friday, October 23rd. I believe he was away from Washington, D.C., and then more calls over the weekend and into the following week. When I finally made it to your show to lay out the facts for the American people. In addition to that, they were going to be conducting a further interview, and Team Thiobalt said the following in his most recent conversation with my legal counsel. Listen, we know Tony's cooperating. We are grateful to him for providing us with all this information. We will get back to you about this. We are unquestionably going to request that he come in for a subsequent interview and that he spend some additional time on this matter. And I haven't had any further communication from them since. Now I remind you, this was Friday, October 23rd. So, this is not the 23rd of October yet. So that was last year. Last year. Now I haven't had any further communication from them since. At all, Tucker asked. He responded with a no. Neither have my attorneys, she added. Tucker stated there had been absolutely no communication. No, he stated again and again. Tucker elaborated by saying since before the election in 2020. The response from Baba Linsky was correct. Tucker remarked that they were taken aback by it. Shocking, Baba Linsky concurred, yeah, that would be an example of one of the uh, adjectives, yeah. The White House operates the United States government as if it were an extension of the Biden's family criminal enterprise. No one messes with the Biden's. Remember what Biden said? No one F's with a Biden. No one messes with Biden's, one person said. Tony Soprano couldn't have expressed it any more eloquently than he did. So there, I think, to myself, there is a lot going on. Two, three, maybe four. Years back even yet. That is hiding in the closet of Biden's history. Like I always said, there's rats under the table. Absolutely. How many years have all these plans been going on? I know you're all asking yourself that. It's a good question. Well, I'll be back. God bless you. And you are a blessing. Be back in a bit.